you can't win. Duke's picnic was a train for summer visitors. It was his special train. Many people came year after year just to see him. He always pulled it, even if he felt poorly. I mustn't disappoint my friends, he would say. That would never suit his grace. The morning run gave no trouble. He took his passengers up the line and stopped anywhere they wanted. He and his driver knew all the best places for picnics. Peep, pip, peep, he whistled as they waved goodbye. Please don't be late when I come back. We might miss the boat, and that would never do. One day, Duke felt poorly at the end of his first picnic journey. He had been short of steam and was glad of a rest before starting back. His driver and fireman had just finished cleaning his tubes when Stuart bustled in. Hello, Grandpuff. Are you short of puff? Nothing of the sort. Routine maintenance. Tell you what, Grandpuff. You're getting old. You need to take care. We'll have to keep you in order, or one day you'll break down. Hm, <laughs> said Duke. That'll be the day. You keep me in order. Impudence. He puffed away, whooshing crossly from his drink cocks. Duke couldn't stay cross for long. It was a lovely evening. All the picnic parties were ready. The coaches ran well, and they lost no time anywhere. Couldn't be better, couldn't be better, he chanted happily. They began to climb. The work was harder, but Duke didn't mind. I've plenty of steam, he panted. We'll be up in a couple of puffs. He needed more than that, though. His puffs changed to wheezes. It's not so easy. It's not so easy. My old valves would stop blowing now. But I'll manage. I'll manage. But the leaks became worse. And soon he was whooshy whooshing hoarsely with escaping steam. Duke's driver examined him carefully at the next station. While the guard went to the telephone. Anxious passengers gathered round. Two engines are coming, the guard reported. With luck, we'll be away in 15 minutes. You easily catch your boat. Falcon buffered up in front. Poor old Grandpuff, he hooshed importantly. What a shame you've broken down. Peep, 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 peep. This is the day, whistled Stuart cheekily. He was coupled on behind. Peep, peep, peep. Are you ready? Whistled Falcon. Yes, I am, replied Stuart, and away they went. Vulcan had left his train at the middle station. Arrived there, the cavalcade split up. Vulcan went down to the port with Duke's picnic, while Stuart headed Falcon's train with Duke coupled behind. Stuart was excited. Fancy me rescuing Grandpuff. This is the day, this is the day, he chortled gleefully. Poor Grandpuff, he thought. He's much too old. We'll have to keep him in order now. Kindly but firmly, that is. We'll allow him to have runs sometimes. But Falcon and I will do the real work. Grandpuff will be cross, but we can't help that. Poor old engine, poor old engine, he puffed kindly. Duke was by no means crippled. His valves sounded worse than they were. He could have kept his train, but his driver said, No, our passengers will only be worried. Duke agreed. He didn't want to spoil their day. He listened to Stuart chortling and smiled. He and his driver had their own joke ready. At first, they used just enough steam to keep moving, but the last half mile was uphill. Now, said his driver, he advanced the regulator and Duke responded with a will. He puffed and roared as though the whole train's rate was on his buffers. People heard the noise from far away. They ran to see what was happening. At the workstation, Duke was uncoupled and went along the loop to the water tank. A boy on the platform asked, Why were there two engines on this train, Daddy? It's most unusual. It is, said his father. But today was different. Stuart broke down, you see. 
and they had to call Duke out to help him. Duke had a hard job too, by the sound of it. Well, for crying out loud, exclaimed Stuart. He vanished in a cloud of steam. Duke wheezed alongside. Poor old engine, he chuckled. It's no good, Stuart. You can't win.